Tennessee. Of course, I've lived pretty much all over the United States. Um, educated first in Chicago. Went to college in Arkansas, which is strange being here. Uh, I have a degree in criminology. I've actually retired three times. Uh, this is something I enjoy doing. It's a very important job. All your students have to get to class on time safely, which is very important to every driver at Oxford University Transit. You're welcome, hon. Have a good day. Okay. I was a police officer. Started with the city, went to the county, then went to the state, and the last assignment was an FBI task force. Played havoc with my family, so I changed professions. I left police work. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the money. Like I said, it was it was the family situation. My family, if I had have stayed in law enforcement, I'm sure I would have divorced. And uh, it's just not worth that any time. So, you know, police work is very difficult. It was a very satisfying job. Uh, I did enjoy it very much. But like I said, my family means more to me than anything. So I left it. and. Uh, went into marketing and started making some money. I came to Oxford in 1981. Uh, I was a district manager with a company, went to Tupelo, put in a plant, and after I finished the plant, they wanted me to move to Omaha, Nebraska to put in another plant, and I quit. Oxford is a very unique town. It's a small town with a big city atmosphere. Uh, the university makes it quite unique. We have one of the only viable squares left in existence. So it's a very, very unique place to live and raise your children. My wife likes to ride with me and go to the car shows. I raised all of my kids around the car shows and motorcycles. So it's just been an exciting life from start to now. And I hope it continues to be exciting. I would say made me the most unhappy was I lost a granddaughter in a car accident and that made me very unhappy for several years. Have a good day, bud. Have a good day. Good day. Losing a child or a grandchild is one of the most devastating things that can happen to you. And most people don't respect the bus. <laughs> they try to get in front of it go around it, which is very dangerous for my... I have three children. I have seven grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. Always treat everyone with the respect that you want yourself. If you do so, life will be fulfilled and full of joy.